Well, hey guys, welcome back to Figure It Out. I've had a few people ask me about the torch build on my Conan Pit Fighter display that I did recently. I thought what I would do is do a video to show you exactly how we got these torches looking so amazing and how we got them wired up and how you can do that yourself for your diorama. First thing I did was break down the tea light candles. You only need the bulb for this build, so you can pop out the battery and get the bulb. I keep everything else because I'm going to use it later, but I also check the bulb against the battery to make sure it works. All right, let's talk for a minute about how this wiring is going to go. <clears throat> so we're going to have a battery pack, and we're going to have a switch. The way that this goes is uh, as you get your wiring and your torches out okay as we get this mapped out the switch is actually going to break this is the hot wire coming out the the red and this is the neutral or the ground wire uh, coming or, or negative however you want to call it uh, which is the return so power is sent through the red wire it's going to hit the switch which if the switch is open it's going to light everything if the switch is closed it's going to shut it off so what we want to do is we want to break the um the we want to break the electric flow at the hot wire before it gets to the torches in order for that to work so um i have our little bulbs here those will represent our torches we're going to make. So this is the way it's going to go. We'll go hot out to the switch, then hot to the hot side, which is the short side of the bulb. The short side is the hot. It'll come to this side, which will also be the hot, and then we'll connect the uh, negative or the ground wire to the other side, the longer side, which will then the flow comes back, goes to this ground, and then goes into here and it completes the circuit. And so that's how the circuit's gonna work. This is a series that we're gonna be using. We're gonna put these on a series. We only need two torches for this particular build. So that's what that's, that's very simplified, okay? And so since this is red coming out and I have a red band on this and a solid band on my wire, I'm going to just designate this red as being the hot and so you can do it any way you want it doesn't really matter but once you decide you got to keep it the same through the whole build so i'll have red wire attached to red wire in between the switch coming out and then short side will go on red short side will go on red so in order to really do this we're going to actually be cutting this wire into sections to go to uh so we can have the ends exposed on each solder them in and uh, you'll see how that goes here in a minute. We are going to be using the uh, heat shrinks for um, the torches to sort of hold it all together. And I put heat shrinks on all my soldered connections. That way it just helps hold it, gives it a little added support. Um, plus it allows uh, none of the connections to be exposed for any accidental, you know, anything touching it accidentally. I don't even know if that would happen, but nonetheless, it will. Okay. So that's how this build is going to go. So the first thing I'm going to solder is I'm going to solder what I call a tail onto the switch. I'm going to solder one line here, one line here, both coming out. And the reason for that is I do have, I do have this space for the switch 
and I have this notch cut out for the wires to come in. And even though I can put the battery pack here and I could make these wires come through here and I could get them to reach, trying to solder at this point is gonna be really, really difficult. So what I really wanna do is I really wanna make my solder point for attached to the battery pack like right here. So I want the switch to be wired coming through this part ending here and then I can solder these two extensions together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my switch, I'm gonna take a piece of wire off of this and I'm gonna solder one in here, one in here. For this purpose only, both of these are gonna be hot. Because remember, for the circuit, we gotta have the battery coming in and uh, hot, and then hot coming out. It doesn't matter at this point uh, if I'm coming off the switch, both of those are gonna be hot. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully that makes sense. So now as I start soldering up the torches, I'm actually going to start with the torch that's furthest away from the battery pack because I can solder both connections um, in the at the same time. So I'm gonna solder the hot side right now and then the, uh, the negative or the ground wire right there, get that one soldered up and we can get everything with the heat shrink tubing tightened up and then I can go to what I would call the middle torch or the torch that's closest to the battery pack. It has a few more wires coming out of it because we've got uh, both leads. Um, so there we go, we've got that done and let's go ahead and get the battery pack soldered up. Remember that's two hot leads coming out of the switch, so I'm going to start here with soldering the hot from the battery pack. I'm going to leave the black wire coming out of the battery pack alone because that goes, that's the ground from the torches. Now I'm going to solder the hot lead from the switch to the hot lead to the torches. And you see those two extra wires, the black one and the other one, the white one, those get soldered together because that's the negative. All right, now that we've got everything wired up, we're going to go ahead and put our batteries in and check and see if it works, and it does. Excellent. Got the nice flicker going from those tea light candles. And switch also works, perfect. I'm just gonna take a minute and put some hot glue on the wires to hold everything down, hold the battery pack down. Now I've got my uh, hot knife and I'm going to make some holes for the torches to come through the wall from the back. Obviously we're gonna drill these or uh, push them in, this in at an angle so that those torches will be angled upward when we put them into the display. All right, now that I've got them poking through from the back, I'm gonna take my small glue gun and I'm just gonna trace some lines with glue down the torch bodies themselves. What this does is, since heat shrink tubing doesn't really look like wood, this will give it some added depth and make it look a little bit more like wood. So for the Conan build, I needed to do something to bracket the torches to the wall and with Conan what I used was I used these eyelets 
that I screwed into the wall so to hold it like that and then I used this prong connector snip the bottom off so all I had was this metal U and then I after painted glued it to the wall like this thought that was a decent looking torch bracket at that point uh, for this one I'm gonna try something different I've got these these are plastic cable holders. There's a nail that goes through here and you nail it to the wall to hold your cable runs. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to cut this plastic piece off, maybe kind of nick it up a little bit. And then I'm going to make it look like basically a, like a torch cup, so to speak. So it looks like you just sort of jammed the torch down in this. A little simpler, uh, I'm gonna see what that looks like. Okay, now we're gonna put a coat of paint on the torch bodies, hide that black tubing, just simple burnt umber. Go ahead and trim off those that plastic part and make the torch cups, mark them up a bit. Paint them up with some metallic paint and do a dry brush on the torch bodies. Glue on the torch brackets and do a black wash. Now the fun part, we're going to sculpt the flames. So using that silicone it, uh, adhesive, uh, we're just put a, a big dollop on there. It actually dries clearer than what it looks right now. So uh, be sure you do get the clear silicone. Uh, you can get it at the, you know, kitchen and bath. Um, any of the big box stores. Make sure you put a big goop on there and uh, cover the entire bulb and then using a toothpick you can start from the bottom and draw your toothpick up wiping it off in between strokes to where you can start sculpting those flames making it go upward. Be sure you're aware not going out you know be thinking about what where your ceiling is so you can uh, pull that flame directly up. Again, I didn't get all the bulb covered, so I'm just going to cover the bulb and start pulling it forward, uh, excuse me, pulling it straight up with the tip of my toothpick. Wiping it off in between and just sculpting it. You might get some little curly cues and stuff like that, that's fine. Uh, you can actually trim those off with scissors, but you should be able to get it looking pretty good right off the bat and, and then it should dry just like you leave it. Nice. we figure out with this build? Well, a couple things I think. One is just how easy it is to sculpt and mold these flames when it comes to torches and just how incredibly easy it is to use the um, little diodes, the LED diodes that come with those flickering candles that you can buy on Amazon or at the dollar store. It's also uh, a good thing to really practice <laughs> soldering so I know that it can get a little tricky but it's not hard it just maybe takes a little bit to get it going but soldering switches when it comes to these builds makes it really cool to be able to turn them on and off and using uh, the battery packs as well I think are really good I think we uh, figured some good stuff out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please hit the subscribe button as well as uh, the like button. Really would appreciate that. And uh, hope you guys will get to building your own torches as well, and that you can start figuring it out. Thanks for watching.